I am Roman with HVAC School, and I am joined here with the amazing Jim to talk about another amazing product from Copeland. So can you tell us about what is Sensi? What, what, what is this? Hey, thanks for asking, Roman. Glad to be with you today. Sensi. Sensi has traditionally been a thermostat, and our Sensi Touch 2 thermostat gives you Wi-Fi and a lot of other features that we can talk about. But what I'm really excited about sharing today is the new product here that we're going to unveil for HVAC School. Woo. There we are. <laughs> yeah. So we have Sensi EIM, a new product, an awesome product that allows you to talk with a thermostat when you don't have all the wires that, huh. you, that you need to make it happen. So all we have here is 24 volts to this, 24 volts to this. We don't have to have all of the wires from a furnace or a heat pump or anything to talk with each other. This is eliminating all the wiring. Wow, I love it. So is this just going at the indoor unit? Is there one at the indoor and the outdoor? What's the what's the combinations here? So great question. You can do either or, okay. or you can do both. Oh, I love that. You can do one indoor and one outdoor with each Sensi Touch 2. They, they both work with it. Uh, when you initially power this up, it's going to ask on the thermostat, is this an indoor or is this an outdoor? And you just choose right then, it locks it in, and then here you have status that's going to show you that. you've locked it into the indoor or the outdoor. I love that. And you've also got, it looks like, um, accessories. Tell us about the accessory so, terminals. So accessories, let's hit the system terminals first because those, those are the terminals that determine how you're going to use this. Whenever you have a single stage gas furnace yes. and you're upgrading to a two stage gas furnace but the thermostat wires in the wall and you can't deal with it yes you can install this at the furnace okay. and have two wires to power this up thermostat 20 and, volts. and 24 volt hot and common love it and then you can set the thermostat for two stages without having to pull the extra wires wow. so you can use it for multiple Sending stages signals yeah i love that the, love that. the other feature about it being in an indoor setting is the fact that it is a waterproof unit Wow. So outdoor is great for rain and snow yeah, and everything, yeah. but indoor? Yeah. Well, what happens if you mount this right underneath your humidifier? Yes. And your humidifier drips and leaks water down over yes. this? Yes. Unfortunately, our competition's indoor is not waterproof. <laughs> and uh, so you're saying I can take a bath with this, or is that no? Almost, yeah. <laughs> No, but that's yeah. good. It's, it's it's those little things that you you forget about with a product like this, uh, where you know when you talk about wireless, it's about yeah. convenience, yeah. right? And being convenient products, you want to be able to put it wherever you need to put it, or Absolutely. wherever it may fit. Um, yes. And so I'm glad so, you guys went through that. So let's get to the accessories now. Yes. Accessories. We can do humidification, dehumidification, and ventilation. Uh, we got best. three sets of dry contacts. You just simply program in the thermostat what you want them for. Yes. Another release with all of this is within this, you no longer have to have a call for heat to get humidity. Oh, wow. You can okay. do a standalone, set your thermostat to the level of humidity you want. Okay. It will turn the fan and the humidifier on even without a call for heat. Oh, independent control. I love independent that. control on both humidity and you can have a standalone dehumidifier yes. gotcha. or a fresh air intake yes. where either one of those. Yep. Stand alone again, you can dehumidify yeah. without having to run the air conditioner, which is a huge savings it in is. all of the, the southern states where you got a more of a marine yeah. climate. There's nothing worse than a brand new product coming out and then realizing I have to buy a bunch of the accessories that come with it just to make my system work. Yes. And you see all these yeah. small little things that, yeah. that have issues with, yeah. uh, you know, this product doesn't cover everything I have, yeah. but, but the Sensi does. So, with the Sensi, you can hook up to 15 indoor temperature sensors. You wow. can average multiples. Yeah, that's well, I, I, I don't know anybody that's done that yet, but if you want to, hey, go for I, it. I might be the first person yeah, to do that. Yeah, yeah. Um, I, the only place in the bathtub probably wouldn't work because the water <laughs> is just too much, but everywhere else we're good. The outdoor sensor is waterproof. Oh, I love that too. So, so you have that ability. Now, if you was to hook this up, if you took out an AC and you put in a heat pump, which is happening all over the place right now, yes, and you had this as your outdoor EIM because you only had two wires, yes. which yep. you can power this up with that, or you can put a transformer in the outdoor unit, power yep. it directly from that, because the, the 24 volts doesn't have to, to, yes. to connect at all. Yep. It's not using 24 volts for any communication. With this as an outdoor unit, then you can go into the thermostat and, and default mm -hmm. before Wi-Fi is hooked up is you don't have outdoor temperature. Okay. Once you hook up Wi-Fi, you now have outdoor temperature. I love that. And with that outdoor temperature, um, you're running off a zip code. You install this, it automatically defaults Sinks to the outdoor temperature uh, sensor. So, go back and change so, so now you have your local outdoor temperature. Yes. 
However, if you use this for the heat pump for the outdoor uh, unit, yes. you don't have to have one of these. Oh. There's a built-in temperature sensor in oh, here man. that allows you to choose on the thermostat, use that. the EIM for your outdoor temperature I sensor. So we're, we're not talking about efficiency balance point, we're talking about load balance point yes. and where we can go into the thermostat, we can say, okay, the heat pump's rated down to 35 degrees outside. Yes. Below that, it can't take care of the load all by itself. So yes. what we do is we set the control up so that at 35 degrees or above, the second stage backup can't kick on. When it hits 35, it's going to allow, yeah. through the dry contacts here, it's going to allow that second stage to, to kick on yeah. and save you from having to use that electric heat when it's above that. I love that. I, with with the efficiency of heat pumps at this point, correct. You're 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 going to be hard pressed to get a heat pump dropping below a COP of one. Yes. And so at this point, they're designed. They're cold weather, cold climate heat pumps. They're designed to run all the way down to zero. Yeah. You're still getting a little heat out of them. It's just not enough to keep up. So this with that outdoor sensor that. kicks that second stage in right when you need it. No, I love that. I love that. So the biggest thing that people are going to ask now, right? And this is the thing that surrounds all wireless controls. What is the range on something like this? Because that's usually the one thing that holds most people back. Absolutely. Um, yeah. So and we'll and that that's where when we were researching and looking at this it was like okay bluetooth's very short it is wi-fi is not much better no <laughs> and and uh there's a there's too. a red something of a competition that's not much better than that yeah, yeah. it has a hard time getting through one layer of concrete yeah the range on this is a hundred feet okay love that but we've actually picked up a signal 200 feet so it's huge it's, it's in a, it's and in we range. went through two 10 inch concrete yeah. walls and still been able to communicate great so so the, the the great thing about something like this is not just the range in itself but i mean when you think about most heat pumps and, and low ambient climates and even just standard split systems yeah um, you're probably going to go over that manufacturer range Absolutely. anyways before yeah. this becomes useless and, and it's not so. and with the radio frequency of 900 megahertz we're, we're at the strongest capable oh, available that. signal out there that's going to keep the connection through you're not yeah. going to lose that signal with that and that signal and the communication, all our Sensi Touch 2s have yeah. the, the, the 900 megahertz frequency adapter in them. Yeah. So it's not a special part number, it's not a special model number yeah. to be able to communicate with the IM. You buy a Sensi Touch 2, and, it's all and that's compatible. what the homeowner has. Oh, love that. It gets automatic updates from the internet, yeah. and it will have the ability. Everything on the the Touch Two has that that 900 megahertz frequency in, and so no special parts on that to be able to communicate and work. So where has this product been our entire lives? That's yeah, I you know, to... I, I I ask that all the time as a former contractor. It's like. Come on, guys! You should have invented this while I was a contractor. Why are you waiting till I'm working here to do this? Because I just sold this day in day out as a contractor yes, yes. in the past. Awesome but, product. But the good thing is, it's here now. Um, it is. And it's available, and you guys just unveiled it here at HR Expo. So. And and one more thing. Oh, go go one go! More go thing. Don't stop me. Yeah. Even though I like to shake your hand, but one more thing. Uh, <laughs> the the homeowner has yeah. four wires to the thermostat. Okay. They want a Wi-Fi touchscreen thermostat. Can they do it with four wires? Yeah, no. No, because you got yeah. hot, you got what well, W for key, yeah. Y for cool, and you yeah. got fan. You don't have a common. Yeah. When well, now with this, you only need two wires, hot and common, yeah. and you can take a four-wire installation and give them a touch to yeah. touchscreen thermostat. It's Wi-Fi. Yeah. That's Wi-Fi with putting this at the indoor unit and being able to communicate from this to the outdoor and everything else. So. You now have a full option that. of upgrading every homeowner to a Wi-Fi thermostat. You don't have any excuses now, right? There's, no excuses. That's With that, good. I shake your hand, Roman. Yeah. Thanks Thank for you so stopping much, by. Man. This Appreciate is awesome. It. Yeah. Awesome. Thanks for watching. If you're willing, give this video a thumbs up and drop us a comment. Don't forget to hit that bell icon to stay updated with all of our future videos. And as a quick reminder, HVAC School isn't just a YouTube channel. Dive deeper with us at our main website, hvacrschool.com. Curious for more knowledge on the go? We've got you covered. Tune into the HVAC School podcast, available on all your favorite podcast apps. And while you're at it, join our thriving Facebook group. Also, don't miss out on our free mobile applications, available for both iPhone and Android. We're all about community. Vortex by Tex.